Well, hello everybody. Decided to do a video today. It was a beautiful day on my day off. And I took a little ride on the motorcycle over to Wapiton, North Dakota. So, I'm going to take and there's one thing I want to, uh, I was riding the by on the road out here. I decided to stop in here. I saw this, uh, you know, welcome to the Wapiton, North Dakota. I also wanted to stop in and take a look at this thing over here. We've got ourselves a fish. And it looks like it's a catfish. So let's go over there and take a closer look at that. There it is. Nice big catfish here. And look at those whiskers. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. And this uh, spot where I'm at, this location is called the Kidder Recreation Area. It's right along the Red River, which starts right here in Wapadon. The Otter Tail River and the Bois de Sioux River join together and the, that's where the Red River starts and uh, flows north up into Canada. Yeah, there we go, look at that catfish. I gotta get up here in the Get myself with the face of the catfish. See if I can get a good angle here. There we go. <laughs> wow, big fish. <laughs> okay, um, there's my bike over there. Oh, may as well go take a look at the river down there too. They got a boat access here, so may as well go down there and uh, see what it looks like. Approaching the river here. And judging by the dock, it looks like it's <laughs> pretty low. <laughs> There it is, the Red River. I suppose I better reach down and touch it. <laughs> Wow, it's not bad at all. <laughs> There's that fish up there again. And that flows up to Canada. Okay, um... I'm going to take and hop on the bike now and head over to uh, the zoo. <laughs> See if I can find my way over to it from here. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, I should probably show. They have a campground here too. It's a self-registration it looked like when I came riding by. They even got... Yeah, so they, uh, they have camping here, too. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to take a hop on the bike and head over to see if I can find that zoo. Well, 
I'm not at the zoo yet. They say that I was riding out. I, you know, I just came from that direction. They say it's stopping here. They have, uh, you know, there's the river down there. I can see steps that go down. I'd say it's stopping and take a look at the river from here. I don't know if I'm going to go down the steps or not, but it's flowing pretty good. Oh, wow, we got some. Huh. Yeah, maybe I will go down there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down there. Take a closer look at the river. There, I gotta. There we go. You gotta be kind of careful here a little bit, but. Wow. I saw there's some more other steps over there, so I might go down them too. Wow, I didn't know we had rapids in uh, right here in Wapaden. <laughs> Let's see if I can move down here and get a better angle of that stone there. No. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll go over there and uh, go, go down those steps. I think that goes a uh, better view of that, closer view. So, yeah, I'll go to can do that. <laughs> I almost walked right down there. <laughs> yeah, there's a better view from the rapids right here. There we go. Beautiful. When I decided to come to the zoo, I was not planning on actually stopping along here at all. It's, this is just on a whim. <laughs> So I made a makeshift bridge, probably to go out there to go fishing, I suppose. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> or maybe it just came to rest there from higher water or something. I suppose I better get me with the rapids in the back. There we go, rapids in uh, Wapiton, North Dakota, along the Red River. <laughs> okay. Alright, this time we're going to go see if I can find that zoo. The zoo is right over there, but um, first, uh, let's, take, let's take a look around that we got around here. Let's see a church a chapel or something over here. We'll look at that in a moment, I think. Prairie Rose Chapel. A really small church here. I got some information. Houses has 10 pews. It can seat approximately 40 people, it says. It's available for rent for weddings and stuff like that. There's the information there. Yeah, I would imagine it's probably locked, so I'm not. <laughs> There's a carousel over there. 
that's inside. Right, let's go take a look. Isn't that cool? This small little chapel. Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> Prairie Rose Carousel. That tells about the history of it. Not going to take and read all that. <laughs> Here's one of the horses. A horse named Bob. That's pretty cool. the carousel. Look at that. Cool. Got different tones painted on it. Okay, I'm not going to record it too long, it's the music thing. <laughs> around the whole thing it kind of tells the story of uh, the, the progress that was made to build it. A lot of work and time went into it. That must be it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so it's uh, 1926 Spill End Carousel. 1926, wow. 183 numbers in the United States. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's a classic thing, you know, from 1926. <laughs> But if you're in the 1930s, Cuba.
and here's some of the unusable pieces it looks like that was replaced and some of the original jewel the eyes <laughs> Even save some nails and screws and stuff. <laughs> that was the year the Red River flooded. And as you can see, that's the carousel right there. Of course, there's that church. So when the Red River flooded Wapiton, <laughs> but they saved it. There's the restrooms, and they do have a campground over here too wow in fact it looks like they even have a couple cabins to get rent wow cool <laughs> I have to walk this way yeah, here's one of the campsites right here and yeah <laughs> well you picnic tables and stuff Cool. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff here. I walk down this path a little ways this direction. Oh wow. <laughs> cool. The zebra over there too. There's a rhino or something. I didn't get a look at it. But anyways, if this is really quite a place to have. They have a ball field right there. And I drove kind of through a, there's a golf course over that direction. I haven't been here for many years. And it's changed since the last time I was here. They've done a lot of improvements. But there's a little path here. And it looks like they got some stuff to look at down there. Kind of like artwork or sculptures or something, I think. But let's go take a look. Oh, well, there's something. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, it's a sculpture. Hmm. I'm not going to go into the details. I'm just going to take a look at them, but... <laughs> yeah, some neat little things here. Oh, forks! Look at that! <laughs> cool. Yeah, we've got forks here, spoons, <laughs> cool, are these knives or what, let's see what they got over here, no, or nothing on that one, huh, yeah, there's nothing on this one, <laughs> cool, like they're like little trees, and that one's got forks and spoons on it, and that one's got Nothing. <laughs> oh, I got some more up here. Yeah, I think this video is going to end up being longer than I was planning because I was planning on only going to the zoo, but there's just more things to look at than just that. But we could take and walk, through, take a look at some of the stuff in here. This uh, sculpture stuff. Oh, of course. 
Like I can't stand next to this and not. kind of loose so it looks like hmm that was cool oh ho okay <laughs> we're not done yet I guess <laughs> one I start on it's this one Remembering Fritz Golder, the most influential Native American artist of the 20th century, grew up and attended school in Wapiton, North Dakota. Cool. Back up just to get the whole thing, maybe. There we go. There. The number seven with the hockey stick through it. That's why. Okay, I guess I am not finished with making noise. <laughs> I think this thing should have been a little bit longer. <laughs> These three are the best, I think. Okay. <laughs>
some tea. Oh. <laughs> Not 100% sure what that is. I would guess a gorilla, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I'd guess a gorilla, so, or some monster of some sort. But I do know what this is. It's a moose. Okay, and the moose sculpts her. I made all different parts. The axe head. Gears. Rebar. <laughs> Saw blades. <laughs> Change this for the beard. There's a spoon. Okay, now that's the bear. Turtle. Here's the shell. That's the head coming out. I'm gonna guess a sea turtle by the fins. But, oh, better go up and take a look at that. We're getting Jurassic now. Oh, we got a date on this one. 2017. Kenneth Nyberg. Yeah, this area is, goes way over there, but they're doing work. There's more stuff, I think, over there, but not going down there. So, all right, now this time for sure, we're heading to the zoo. Like I said, this video is probably going to be <laughs> longer, <laughs> but that's. Uh, I'll see what I do. Maybe I'll have it split into two, or, or I don't know. We'll see. I think I practically have enough for a video right now. But okay, now I'm heading to the zoo. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of, of, of the first uh, video. If I don't know if we're going to split them into two or not, but we'll see. If I am, <laughs> thanks for watching and stay tuned for the zoo for the next video. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, if this is not the end, we're heading to the zoo.